My name is Zephaniah Windu O'Air. I wish to share an article that I wrote four years ago on the 16th of September, 2020. My article goes like this. The day I will celebrate independence will be the day my country's flags will be made in my own country and by my people. I can't celebrate Independence Day with all those independence products, flags, etc., made in China. I am a proud Melanesia. My ancestors are well independent before 1975. If only our own histories are written and taught in our education systems, we will not be fooled by just celebrating 1975. Instead, we will celebrate and embrace our very existence as Papua New Guineans on this land we call Papua New Guinea. I am not against independence in my country. I feel that there is more to be achieved, to be changed before we are fully independent to celebrate independence. For instance, let's look at our education system. It's been constantly changing over the past 45 years now. Australia greatly influenced the education systems in our country, making the system unstable every time we try to succeed one system, it changes to another. The laws governing our land and resources are made based on foreign advisors and consultants. There's no practical Melanesian's values and principles in those laws. The laws for our own country does not suit our best interest as Melanesians. The way our country is structured and operated the past 49 years is slowly disconnecting us from our root, our identity, our cultures, our land, our resources, etc. as true Melanchians. The slogan Take Back PNG for me is to make PNG fully independent as a nation, and as a nation, we yet to achieve that. So when are we really going to take back PNG? Are we going to take back PNG by using Christianity? Are we going to take back PNG by building more mines and allow more logging? Are we going to take back PNG by creating more political parties? Are we going to take back PNG by allowing more Asians influx into our country under Look North policy? Are we going to take back PNG by letting foreigners joyride on our failed justice systems? Today I had seen my people celebrated but I can't be part of it as I had so many questions about my country and my people. I'll finish off by saying that today was just an ordinary day for me as I continue on working at home. September 16th, 1975 was just a timeline history for me. My people and my nation is yet to be fully independent to celebrate Independence Day. Thank you for watching. Like and share if you agree with my thoughts about Independence Day.